everybody and welcome my name is Eric and today I'm going to be reviewing my own personal Saturn electric air pump for inflatables let's get right to it now I will admit that this review is a bit overdue because I have owned this inflatable pump for about close to four years now the main thing I can say about it is that it's been very reliable actually it goes bang every time it is not digital, okay? It doesn't have any major, I will get you guys closer in a minute, show you what it, uh, what it looks like. It doesn't have any major gauges and things like that. It only measures the air pressure by KPA. Now on the screen right now, I'm gonna show you guys the differences between what well, one PSI of pressure equals to one KPA. So you guys can see it. And I personally own Saturn inflatables. Currently behind me, I have my own personal Saturn SK385XL capote. It doesn't have a keel, but it has bladders and an airflow. I'm gonna show you guys right now on the screen the pressures needed for the bladders, the airflow, and the keel. So you guys have an idea, you know, what we're talking about before we go any further. So let me go ahead and get you guys in closer and show you guys what it looks like and everything. Okay, so here's the inflator itself. It comes in a pouch like this, and in here it holds the wires for the uh, for the uh, electric. Because you, you can connect this to a car battery, positive and negative. I personally use a very inexpensive portable 12 volt battery. This is enough to do a full inflation. And uh, I currently use I'm currently using my um, battery tender that I use for a motorbike over there. It's the one that I use to charge this battery. So yeah. Now I was talking that this one is not digital, it's just plain old analog. It's because it has this dial right here. Let me show you. This dial only measures KPA. And as you saw on the screen, uh, the bladders, the main bladders for an inflatable boat, like Saturn uses 25 KPA. The keel uses 40 KPA. And the floor itself uses 10 PSI or 70 KPA which is like, like that and it's automatic it automatically shuts off that's the beauty of it when it comes to inflation you set it up on the kpa you want you turn it on and let it rip it, it this one has um i'm gonna show you guys a picture right now on the screen you guys gonna see that it has a big turbine pump which inflates the bulk of the bladders and then it has a smaller piston pump which creates the higher pressures now in here, you guys gonna you gonna notice that this one has a an exhaust um, an exhaust valve, and it's got an intake valve. You can actually inflate or deflate. I personally, when I deflate my inflatable, I just turn the uh, the valve open, all the valves on the floor and and um, on the inflatable boat, and then I just roll it up like a burrito. But if you want to choose to use the, the electric pump as a deflator, you can. And soon I'm going to actually go and show you guys an example with my own. I'm going to go ahead and inflate a bladder and deflate a bladder. So that way you guys have an idea. Now it comes with this hose, obviously. This is a high pressure hose. And this is the end that connects into each exhaust or intake port. And usually it goes like this. That's it. You take the other end itself and you squeeze it inside the valves of the inflatable boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up and show you guys an example. Now, although I'm gonna show you guys an example of the how to inflate a bladder, I'm not going to inflate the entire thing, just one bladder. Now, for those of you who are interested in how long it takes to inflate an inflatable boat, I actually made a specific video just for that and with this pump nonetheless. I'm gonna put a little card on the corner that will also put it on the description below so if you guys wanna find out how long it takes, I actually made that video by a suggestion of viewer actually. So anyway, let me go ahead and get started with the example. All right guys, so right now I'm gonna show you guys an example of you know, how it works when it inflates the bladders of an inflatable boat. I'm only going to inflate this specific bladder which is the one on the front. I'm gonna take, the knob is already on the outtake port, real tight put it inside the valve then I'm gonna take the two little clip-ons again if you don't have one of these batteries for it you can use a battery on your car uh, I like having the portability and also the fact that I drive a Prius Prius doesn't have it has one of those batteries but it's in the back of the trunk and it's a pain in the butt to get to so this is far more convenient for me so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the positive port negative port and the moment you do that you guys gonna notice that this little red light turns on this little light turns on means it's got power. And as you guys saw earlier on the screen, the KPA or PSI required to inflate the, uh, this bladder is 25 KPA, KPA roughly 3.6, 3.8 PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
put it on 25 kPa. Got the little button, gonna turn it on. I might fast forward this uh, footage depending how you know how slow it is. But you guys gonna hear when the um, main pump starts and then the high pressure pump starts. There you go. <laughs> There goes the high pressure pump. And that's it. That's usually how it works. It's got the automatic shot off. Again, it doesn't have any fancy dials or pegs and it just gets the job done. That's what I like about it. All right, so right now I'm gonna show you guys, you know what it takes to deflate it. If you choose to deflate your inflatable boat, using the pump itself. First, you gotta remove uh, the hose, because right now it has an open valve. So if you were to unplug this right now, and that was on, it'll be thing automatically. But that's one way to do it. Then you're gonna go the uh, intake valve, put it on the other side. You can put it in. It starts to deflate automatically. And right about now, do the final deflation. There we go. It'll start going skinnier and skinnier. I'm gonna speed this up. There we go. It is deflated. As I mentioned guys on the bottom of the screen, I put a little note that deflation does not have an automatic shot off. You have to keep an eye on it because otherwise it'll put too much pressure. You're gonna hear the, the machine whining. Wee! Make sure you keep an eye on it because otherwise uh, you may hurt the machine. You don't want to do that. But it works as a deflation device as well. Well guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This video came to you guys as a suggestion from many of you. I've taken my time and I apologize, but now I finally got around with it. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.